Welcome back to the Five Napkin Burger Beer and Bourbon Blog. We are the Happy Hour Guys, and we are here at the spacious Astoria location. They've got a really nice bar. They do. And let's talk Elmer T. Lee Single Barrel Bourbon. Elmer T. Lee is an amazing single barrel made in Frankfort, Kentucky at the Buffalo Trace Distillery. And the name itself carries a very special distinction. Here's a little hint. That's him standing on the far left. Elmer T. Lee himself is still living. Is the only distiller emeritus, we believe, in the country that has a spirit named after him that is still alive. The only distiller emeritus that has his own bourbon. And this is one of Mark's favorites. It's, not only is he living, but he still has a hand in every batch of Elmer T. that comes out. He comes to the distillery every Monday to taste test to make sure that every bottle of Elmer T. Lee that goes out lives up to his exact Exact, his exact specifications. It's also it's aged in the same warehouse as Blanton, so if you notice any uh, similarities between the, the, the taste profiles, it might have something to do with where and how they're aged. It really is my favorite. So how does Elmer T. Lee taste? This is a brilliantly crafted bourbon with wonderful balance and notes of maple and caramel on the nose and a lengthy palate that finishes with just a little bit of spice and orange. This is a keeper. So what am I gonna match this up with at Five Napkin? I'm going with the Inside Out Burger. That subtle sweetness and spice is so good, I don't want the bun to get in the way. Well, I think I've made it pretty clear that during our time in Kentucky, this became one of my favorite bourbons. And it's not a cop-out on my part to say that I would pair this with anything on the Five Napkin menu, from sweet to spicy and everything in between, including putting it in a vanilla milkshake. That's how much I like it. So don't forget the bar at Five Napkin Burger. As you can see, there's always something new. We'll see you guys next time. Cheers. But if you visit Buffalo Trace, you might very well run into Elmer T. Lee himself. How cool is that? Medieval torture or barrel machine? We can't be sure.